Well, hey folks, welcome back to Crimson Skies. Today we're doing the first of the Colorado missions. Now, as we recall, last we heard, the crews of both the Pandora and the Black Swan gang were missing. The only people left are Nathan Zachary, leader of the uh, Fortune Hunters, and uh, the Black Swan, leader of the Black Swans. Uh, so, let's see what's happening. See any signs of them yet? Over. Negative. Anyone hear me? Hello? Pandora, this is Sparks. Somebody answer. Uh, you see, Swan? There's Sparks now. Probably calling to get bail money for the gang. Go ahead, kid. What gives? You had us worried there for a minute. Boy, am I glad to hear you, Skipper. I'm in deep trouble. Ha! Huh. What's the matter, Sparks? You boys get into too much fun last night over at Sweet Sally's? No, boss. On the level. We got jumped by a whole bunch of goons on our way home. Remember the Black Hat Squadron? It was them. And they're all creeps, if you ask me. Where are you now? I don't know about the rest of the crew, but me? I got away during the mix-up. Couldn't get to the plane, so I hopped the gold train heading for Sky Haven, the Rocky Express. I I don't think they saw me. Kid, you stay put. We'll come pick you up right now. Thank you, sir. Holy Toledo! Oh, no, boss! Sparks? Sparks, come in, kid. You were saying, darling? All right, all right, I was wrong. Again. Okay, you've had your fun. Now look, I know you've got your own mess to deal with, but... Stop talking and keep flying, Nathan. Of course I'll help you. All right. There's only one set of tracks circling Sky Haven. If they're in radio range, they can't be too far. I'm curious. How do you propose to get your man off the train? I'm sure I'll think of something. Say, we can always do the old ladder trick again. Ladder trick? Sure. Drop a ladder, fly over the target, target grabs the ladder, away you go. Learned that one from Rollo the Flying Clown during my barnstorming days. Oh, heaven help us. Indeed. Now follow me. I know the way. I guess there are only so many ways to incorporate trains into an airplane game, and they all seem to involve ladders of some kind. Anyway, here we go. We are going with the Housatonic. This is a plane I built when nobody was looking. Uh, it's basically the same as the Red Hot Spender. It's just a Fury, but I took out that second 30 caliber cannon and put in one more uh, hard point of high explosive rockets. Uh, the engine's the same, it's got a different paint job, but otherwise it's, it's very much uh, the same. Since I haven't been running out of ammunition, I assume this is going to be just fine. So, let's see. Now that's not safe at all. This airship is flying along with no crew except for uh, Nathan Zachary, who's about to abandon ship, so... I'm not sure what the state of autopilot systems was in 1934, but uh, it can't be good. Or 37, or whenever this game takes place, I forget. Late 30s. Yeah. You'll thank me later. It's hard to differentiate between some of the other planes in this level. Keep sharp, Swan. No telling what kind of trouble we'll run into out here. Speak of the devil. Look. Black hag. See here, Zachary. We've had quite enough of you Boy Scouts jumping our planes. Bugger off. This gold train is ours. I'm going to do a lot worse than jump your claim, you monkey. Where's my crew? And what's the big idea of your gang jumping my gang anyway? Roy, that's one too many questions. You're dead this time, mate. You stirred the hornet's nest, darling. Father, oh, turning us to Swiss cheese! Where's our sneaking backup? Where's the dang sacred trust? The hell with them sacred trust goons! We can handle Zachary without their help! Well, tell that to my wingman! He's scattered all over the Rockies! He said sacred trust? Wasn't that one of the security companies? Head on! Enemy 12 o'clock! Okay, one down. Should be one more brigand and Ace Dixon himself to deal with. Whoa. Ah! You're right, enemy three o'clock. Hmm. Lovely Colorado. Ah! Mountains and everything. Now where is that bad guy? 
Just a few deaths. God dang, do I an armor piercing? Oh god. Armor piercing rocket right in the engine. This is gonna be trouble. You impress me, pirate. Defensive fire commencing! Okay, there's a sticks in the last of them. Nothing a little oh, paint god. can't fix over. Dixon should be even more dinged up than me right now, and he's going after Black Swan. Luckily, his tail gunner's not paying attention. No! Not again! Not bloody again! You have seriously got to think about a new line of work, my friend. All right, we're clear. Let's find that damn train now. Zachary, did you hear that comment about sacred trust? That's right. Something rotten's going on around here, and I don't like the smell of it. All right, there's the express. Watch Whoa. those turrets. We'll need to disable those to pull this off, Nathan. That and look who's flying escort. Sacred Trust. Nathan Zachary and Black Swan, what are you two doing here? Where are the Black Hats? Expecting someone? Funny. Pirates don't usually make appointments with their victims. Say, I thought you sacred trust boys were in the protection business, not the other way around. Hey, I don't know what you're talking about. Sure you don't, but the newspapers will. Careful, Zachary. Dead men tell no tales, you know. Yeah, we'll see about that tough guy. We'll see about that tough guy. Hey, sir, you a lousy The guy. The guys we're fighting right here are Sacred Trust Hellhound planes. This is a new plane for us. They're built by Germany. Sparks to Zachary! Sparks to Zachary! Over! Go ahead, kid. What's your situation down there? Real screwy, Skipper. As soon as the gunfire started, the engine crew of this train bailed out like they planned it or something. I'm all alone down here. Only one more of those guns to go. Holy Toledo, boss! It's Sparks! The engine down here has been hit by a stray shot! She's gonna blow any second! Hold on, kid! I'll have you out of there in two shakes! There goes the last gun! Sparks, you read me? Loud and clear, sir! Get up on the roof of the train now! I'm gonna fly low and you're gonna grab my ladder! Got it? Ladder? Uh, whatever you say. Over. There he is, Nathan. On top of that train car there. I see. Hurry, Nathan, you're running out of time. I do get tired of these kinds of missions. Okay, gotta throttle down, throttle down, throttle down, drop the ladder. Uh, there we go. All aboard. Woo-wee! That was some trick, sir. You can thank Rolo the Clown for that one, kid. Uh, well, we've had our fun for the day. Time to head home. I am gonna need to consider getting my hands on a plane with a little more armor. Anyway, here we go. Three brigands down, four hellhounds down, plus the ace Dixon and his brigand right there. Hellhounds are not very good fighter planes. I, I think it's some kind of Bomber. We'll look at it in just a little a bit. This is going to be our new plane. Uh, let's see. We've got... Uh, get, I don't even know. Um, boss. If you hadn't showed up when you did, I'd be pushing up daisies. You may want to look Sheila up. Next time you're in Skyhaven, she seemed more like your kind of girl. Thanks a million. Sparks. Ah, so this will be Sheila. All right. Beeper rocket. We've unlocked a new technology. These are not the most useful. Uh rockets unfortunately but they're pretty fun especially in multiplayer not dangerous by itself the beeper rocket is a harbinger of doom for any target it tags if you ever played the uh, uh played free space 2 the tag rockets work the exact same way you hit an enemy with a tag rocket uh, and all the rockets you fire after that will zoom right in and smack right into it but it doesn't last very long saw doc fast and binder's friend tesla he wanted me to give you these Beeper Seeker plans, so 
Doc Fassenbinder and uh, Nikola Tesla are bros. That's not that surprising, honestly. Uh, okay, so this map right in here, the Colorado map, has quite a few stunt areas. Now, it's very difficult to get them all uh, in one play, but look at this. This has got to be the most so far. You can get them from flying into the tunnels, under the bridges, under the arches, past waterfalls, all kinds of stuff. But as we know, Crimson Skies kind of punishes you for trying to do fancy stuff. There are no checkpoints in this game, so don't expect me to be getting too many of those. But if the opportunity presents itself, I certainly will. So, that was Colorado. Uh, interesting beginning to that. We still have to rescue the rest of the crew. Uh, and so now, let's take a look at the uh, Hellhound there. And next, it's time for the plane of the day. Marketed as the Holhund in Europe since the mid-1930s, the Falk Wolf 190 was only recently released in North America. One of the first German fighters produced since the Great War, the Hellhound is a strong contender in the medium fighter class. Forward swept wings and a twin tail provide the Hellhound with good handling characteristics and an excellent high speed performance. Its twin Junkers Juno engines uphold the Junkers Engine Works motto of faster, better, stronger with a combined output that can propel the aircraft well in excess of 300 miles per hour. The Hellhound is outfitted with a moderate weapon suite composed of two 50 caliber cannons augmented by a pair of 40 caliber machine guns. Additionally, a rear turret is armed with another 50 caliber cannon. Many buyers choose to upgrade the rear turret with an additional machine gun, sacrificing some armor weight or downgrading the 50 caliber cannons to 40 caliber machine guns. Today's plane of the day, the General Dynamics F-111 Aardvark, is a medium-range interdictor and tactical strike aircraft that also fills the roles of strategic bomber, reconnaissance, and electronic warfare in its various versions. Developed in the 1960s and first entering service in 1967, the United States Air Force variants were officially retired by 1998. The F-111 pioneered several technologies for production military aircraft including variable sweep wings, afterburning turbofan engines, and automated terrain following radar for low level high speed flight. Its design was influential, being reflected in later Soviet aircraft such as the Sukhoi Su-24, and some of its advanced features have become commonplace. During its inception, however, the F-111 suffered a variety of developmental problems, and several of its intended roles, such as naval interception through the F-111B, failed to materialize. Through the history of air combat until the 1950s, the solution to avoiding air defenses was to fly higher and faster. Increasing speed reduced the amount of time spent within the range of defensive weapons and flying higher meant it took longer to guide an interceptor into range while dramatically increasing the size and expense of anti-aircraft guns. These underlying assumptions produced a series of ever faster and higher flying strategic bombers. The U.S. Navy sought a long-range, high-endurance interceptor aircraft to protect its carrier battle groups against long-range anti-ship missiles launched from Soviet jet bombers and submarines. Through the 1950s, the Navy increasingly focused on the concept of the Fleet Air Defense Fighter, a long-range interceptor using missiles as its only weapon. In contrast to earlier fighter designs where performance, maneuverability, and an unobstructed view were the most important design criterion, in the missile-dominated world, the missile needed the performance and maneuverability, not the fighter. The first production F-111s were delivered on July 18, 1967. After early testing, a detachment of six aircraft were sent in March 1968 to Southeast Asia for combat lancer testing in a real combat condition in Vietnam. In a little over a month, three aircraft were lost and the combat tests were halted. It turned out that all three had been lost through malfunction in the horizontal stabilizer and not by enemy action. F-111Fs participated in the Gulf War in 1991. During Desert Storm, F-111Fs completed 3.2 successful strike missions for every unsuccessful one, making it 47% more capable than the next leading strike aircraft. A group of 66 F-111Fs was credited with 1,500 kills of Iraqi tanks and other mechanized vehicles. In United States Air Force service, the F-111 has been effectively replaced by the F-15E Strike Eagle for the medium-range precision strike missions, while the supersonic bomber role has been assumed by the B-1B Lancer. 